Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and uh, well, I figure it's been a while since you guys have heard from me, and you may want an update, so just gonna update you on how the op is going so far. Um, why don't we start, I guess, in the new lab. The, so we get loud for a second, so pardon me while I speak over the noise. I won't spend too much time in here for it, but uh, this is where I'm taking time lapses now. Some culture areas, some supplies, liquid cultures that all you guys are ordering. The new table and flow hood that Ben built. Spawn. Uh, autoclave is down here at the floor at the moment. We'll be getting it up on a table soon. This is just, uh, you guys have, who have been watching the live streams have seen this. This is just the office. It is crowded and messy because I'm a disorganized person. But also because we've been working on everything else except the office. Um, <laughs> right? Uh, like all those orders you guys are slamming me with. Holy cow, I had to hire a whole other person just to help with orders. Um, here we have the lab you guys have already seen in one of the most recent update videos. This is a uh, packing area. We have our fridge and coffee and all that stuff over there, but uh, packing areas over there for uh, packing all the, the legal culture orders everything else. Production is done here at this table. As you guys have, I think I've already seen on that one though, I think our table used to be over here where, oh yeah, banner. Somebody said it was kind of cultish, but we all voted. We all liked it. So, um, of course, blocks that came out of the steamer. So we're doing three loads of 120 uh, 12 pound blocks each. Uh, once, it's three times a week. Um, though we're switching over to 120 blocks of wheat bran in one of those every week. So it'll be uh, 240 blocks of Masters Mix and then 120 blocks of um, wheat bran for shiitake. Because we now have the space for shiitake, we're, so we're going to start planting it like crazy. Um, well, I mean, 120 weeks. Not entirely crazy, but uh, don't mind the fish stuff. All that is actually slated for a different project, which will be coming up very shortly. Um, looks like we got Ben and Bill over there, or calibrating some baggers, steamers outside, steaming away. You guys may not have seen this. This fellow's name is Christopher. Christopher Walken. And uh, that's one of... Ben's <laughs> projects he's been working on for the last little bit. He's always the one that named it. I thought it was good. Get loud for a second, but just so you guys can get an idea of the scope of how big this room is. It is a pretty sizable walk-in. Plenty of space to pack spawn and eventually orders. Um, all the mushrooms and such that we're picking. Hey, there's Jackie. Hey, Jack. One of our new hires. Um, you guys have seen the grow room already, and we have already picked today and delivered, but you can see that things are pinning. Go Jackie, am I on your way? No, you're fine. Here, are you working in that other aisle or in this one? Okay. Jack, anything you want everybody to know? I love it here. <laughs> it's just great. They all are. Oh my gosh, don't listen to him. We treat him terribly. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> uh, Jack's been working today. He got this wall taken out, cleaned, and then it's repacked. So we are now on a weekly schedule. This wall was packed last week, uh, stripped, cleaned, uh, deep cleaned, and then packed. This wall was next, was this week. Next week will be the next one, and then the next week uh, on the last wall. And that's so that we have a full month rotation. So I mean, you can see we got tons of mother of pearl oysters pinning. Let's see if I can get you some close-ups. Like that. And believe it or not, that oyster will come in white as white can be but it just has the most phenomenal blue color when it's pinning. And just to give you an example of, there is a blue. 
that is just the blue oyster there and you see how dark they're coming in right now as opposed to the mother of pearl which is there they're coming in a much lighter blue I'm trying to think of what else to show them jackie There's so much i know right so much has changed in the past a little bit uh we have boxes and our picking stations there um really hope you guys didn't hear ben say the f word on that because i don't want to get demonetized <laughs> cleaning rack uh this is just where we're storing racks for now um got hrv and some hvac equipment that we bought off a farm down in atlanta and we're cleaning out this incubation area if you guys remember early on when covid hit we were basically just laying bags on the floor in this area and now you know we're just doing let's see like this oh ooh, whoo but you can see we're just doing incubation aisles now in the rolling shelves just like that so we'll take a peek over at ben's area without permission just a do you guys see it oh i think that's the we got baggers here going out the door these are ready to be shipped and picked up we've got two more that the frames have been made and they're about to have the water systems installed i think we were waiting on valves which came in either today or yesterday and so you can see guys I mean, Ben's on full time now, so we're making and shipping baggers. He's not been on with us very long, so we're just trying to catch up with everything. But the baggers go live on the website, I think, this week. So if you guys want to buy them, just buy them up. They ship, uh, I think, all 50 states now. So going crazy. It is the fastest, least cost bagger you're going to find on the market right now. And it will just blow pretty much. I'm. I would rather have our bagger than any bagger. Let's see. That, sh oh, that's an experiment I don't want to show. There's King Blues. Oh, right there. The kids have made a fort on <laughs> this uh, pallet rack. They like to play on it. But uh, you guys can see from outside here. Let's see if I can get it to adjust. There we go. You guys can see it's already leaves are falling. Sun is shining at that fall angle. So it has been some time since I was able to make a video for you guys. And I figured it was just time to give you an update of what's going on, what's going on the farm. It is basically the same as what we talked about last time. Just more of it. So <laughs> just heard the bagger dump so I mean the biggest thing really I think is we're through what I would call the COVID crunch um, where you know everybody was really worried about what was gonna happen I'm not worried most of our restaurants are still doing tons of takeout and delivery so I'm not really worried about um, lockdowns anymore plus we have our CSA so if a lockdown does happen I mean, I think that we'll just see a big boost in that. So we'll probably do, you know, if there is a big lockdown and we just start doing more on our CSA, it'll basically just be the same amount of money at, I don't know, you know, half the volume, which for me works wonders, of course. Um, and then oh, we have uh, the liquid culture game is going like crazy. I am working on a archive an online archive where we are testing strains taking the data yield data temperature incubation times uh first and second flush dates um average yield specific yields etc i'm even going to try to include pictures of pins um pins mid, uh, juvenile fruits and then harvestable fruits and give an example of every strain and we're just we're just starting to test every strain we have um, including the most common strains and pretty soon my hope is that uh, that'll be 
a useful tool for everyone. Obviously strains behave differently in every grow room, but if I have a baseline, let's say we put an Amosil 3015, um, Lambert's 123, and you see how that responds in my grow room, and then you can compare uh, Mother of Pearl, you know, King Blue, the, um, you know, every strain I can possibly trial, I'm going to trial, but it's going to take time to build that archive, but it is already in the works, and um, the data is being collected, even though it is not published yet, so, and I'm trying to think what else, guys, might be worth showing. It's kind of a rambly video. This wasn't planned. I am working on a lot of videos for you guys. Um, they just haven't been published yet, so, yeah, anyways, uh, Let's see. Do you guys have any? Um, oh, here you go. Here's something you'll want to see. Just the puppies. Just the puppies. That's the truffle puppy and the beanie puppy. They like to hang out in the reception area. I don't allow them in my culture labs, but in production labs, I'm not so worried about it at the moment. And let's see, guys. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you can see Samantha's been, we won't do too much. Samantha's got her little station where she has been working on some cool designs for different things. T-shirts and the like. Um, other than that, guys, it's mainly just a bunch of business stuff. Ben's on full time. Um, more of the same. We're going to be rocking out. Uh, golly. Baggers, strains, cultures and um i mean you guys have already had me like swamped in liquid culture orders and now we started adding grain spawn and grain spawn is moving along pretty well i've been surprised at how many of you guys want grain spawn and so that's been pretty good game to us so far um i oh i have some uh feeling like this has just rambled on a little bit so may i may just cut it off there guys we'll just do this as a quick update video I've got another video coming out uh, very soon, the next week, um, where we're going to get back into our agar series and our liquid culture series. And uh, I know you guys, I've not been spending much time in the grow rooms, so we're going to be doing a lot more video in of bagging. Um, we're going to be rebuilding our steamer soon, having a video update on that. So there's just a lot going on, and I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, there's a lot coming your all's way and that we have not forgotten you. So. If you guys would please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, as always, y'all, keep spawning culture.